and gentlemen, welcome to another Long Full Boots Pedal Demo! This is the Arion Metal Master! in a way, uh, not a fuzz pedal per se, um, and not typically uh, a pedal with a name that would necessarily uh, entice us, maybe not, but uh, what you may or may not know is that the Arion Metal Master is a clone-ish of the Boss HM2, which uh, for those of you who don't know is a uh, dirty little bitch of a pedal that was popularised uh, by like, Swedish death metal, black metal uh, bands. Um, and has a very particular sound that, um, when pushed, for, for, for me, actually borders towards fuzz and certainly is uh, very crunchy and interesting. Um, so, um, what are the controls? Well, we have level, which is level. We have, uh, apparently, it appears to be um, active boost and cut. Um, well, definitely probably those, because these do make a lot of difference. And we've got distortion here, which just runs from the minimum to maximum. Um, we do also have stereo out which is really interesting something that the hm2 didn't have um we'll um rather than running in stereo we'll swap over to out two at some point and just listen to what the difference is because it does actually provide a different sound um uh, we'll talk a bit more about that when we get there uh so uh, first of all let's check out the clean tone this is the bridge this is the middle And in the interest of metal, this is the look. Oh. Uh, okay, so most people will, will suggest that you run it more or less like we've got it set at the moment, which is just dime to fuck. Uh, excuse my language, uh, metal pedal, and swear on this channel all the time anyway. Um, <laughs> but let's uh, let's set our EQ uh, twelve o'clock, so that should be um, flat as such. Uh, as it's active and we'll roll the distortion back and we'll see uh what we're gonna get uh bridge it's metal which is probably most of the bridge anyway uh, the eq especially the eq but the, the distortion as well will make quite a lot of difference to the level so i'll just try to uh, balance the level a little bit Sort of a, basically an overdrive. It's, it's not awful either, actually, no, to be honest. Uh, let's see if it cleans up. Oh, I can't believe I'm checking this on the Metal Master. play with the EQ before we move on to pushing the gain up. Yeah, let's 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 see what the uh, low frequencies do. Uh, so this is full cut. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
so it's more boost than it's cut. Mm. <laughs> uh, it gets really quite meaty. Um, might even work as a base pedal, I don't know. Uh, let's try the same thing on the uh, on the highs as well. Um, uh, we'll leave the bass uh, flat at the moment, perhaps we'll play around with that in a second. <laughs> Because the highs, uh, um, it's more of a high mid control, it, it kind of feels like it scoops rather than just getting darker. It's getting darker as well, obviously. But it's scooping a bit as well, interesting. the low control suddenly it picks up but it's definitely like a upper mid rather than a, a, a high sound it's um, poking through you hear that resonance there let's try out the extreme EQ setting so let's roll off all that low Yes, yeah, intro to, to every song, uh, and the other way around. That makes me want to turn up the gain, so let's do that. <laughs> I'll try and balance the level as we go. Microphonic pickups, picking up my voice. Uh, here we go. Try at a high gain setting with the flat EQ. Uh, see what's going on. It's kind of boring when it's on the flat EQ. Any any sort of flat EQ or low gain. Uh, so we're at twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock is it's boring. Um, hey, don't want them all, and uh, it cost me twenty five quid. So you know whatever. Uh, let's uh, <laughs> okay. Let, let's set the gain even higher. Kind of boring. Uh, but let's see if it will clean up, because I'm a pervert. <laughs> it does, actually. Do this demo expecting me to try and clean it up, <laughs> but it, it's quite nice actually. It does all sorts of nice. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, I'm guessing one of the one of the obvious settings is going to be this full gain, full boost on the high, full cut on the low for as you say the intro sound. <laughs> the other dub with the low sets around here and it goes
Next on the British Picker, let's try uh, let's try to the next. Steering upper mids that, that is what this pedal is for, so really you've got to crank that high and then set your low uh, however you can kind of deal with it. You get the feeling that this active EQ is actually pushing at least one last gain stage, and that's why you're getting a bit more crackle as you as you push it in. It's it's cool. It's, I'm going to use it on everything, but it's nice sound, it's cool, I like it. <laughs> Okay, uh, so in the interest of completeness, let's see what happens uh, coming out of output two. So there's two options with output two. It's controlled by this switch here that says direct soft. Direct is um, uh, clean out, so we can uh, send uh, a different distortion sound to a different amp, which would be cool. Um, uh, I'm just going to switch these over. Okay, so this is the same setting as we had before. So uh, different frequency response, switch straight back so we can hear what's going on. So quite a different tonality, uh, and actually a different front end response to the um, the notes as well. It, it's um, the attack is softer as it as it as it suggests. So I'm not sure uh, what they're doing with the circuit there. But here's an idea: plug in here, two cables out into an A B box, but backwards, so you can use it as a channel switcher. And then you've got your two sounds in here. You've got your your softer sound and your your, your bigger sound. And I think that'd be a pretty interesting way to run it. Um, yeah. So does it sound like an HM2? I honestly can't tell you. I don't have one to compare it with. Um, I've seen uh, comparison demos on on YouTube, and it seems to stack up pretty favourably. Um, uh, I could see I can I can see myself using this quite a lot. I can especially as um, with the more searing full high boost, which is the only way to run it really. Uh, if you want it to sound interesting, as an overdub to something that's bassier and, and fuller, especially on fast songs, mm -hmm. I could really see myself using this actually quite a lot in the studio. Uh, if not um, if not live, and, um, maybe with parallel processing on, on a board, and I could see it happening live with something to kicking over the top mm -hmm. of your main sound. Um, so for me, I think it's a bit of a hidden gem, really. I don't think it's going to stay hidden for that long. Um, the alternative that I was going to look at to try and get an HM2 was the Behringer HM300. Uh, the one, the purple one with the heavy metal? Yeah, which is also an HM2 clone. But it's, it, it's gone up in price loads. The Behringer 
uh, when I looked on on eBay, it was it was asking price of like sixty quid. It's appreciated across its original selling price, mm. which is bonkers because people have gone, oh, it sounds just like the H one two, and it probably does. I've seen those on the exchange of last year for less than thirty quid. Yeah, I, I, th I think I think it's in a transitional stage. Mm. Um, this was twenty five quid on eBay, and that's typical. Uh, but shh, don't tell anybody because they'll, <laughs> they'll just get more expensive. So snatch them now. Don't tell anybody that that's what you're doing. Um, yeah, it's it's actually a pretty cool pedal, and oh, I'm there's glad. Folks doing expensive boutique versions as well. Uh, abso uh, absolutely, uh, and they also sound great. Mm. Um, and they push the sound a bit further um, with the searing and with the more sort of fuzzy side of things. But um, if you want the sound on a on a budget, then while they're still cheap, um, I hear that quite a lot of the Arium pedals are pretty good. Um, so I'll have to try and pick them up. Uh, anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the demo. Um, if you enjoy the music at the start uh, and you want to go check out our music, uh, head over to our Bandcamp page, longfullboots.bandcamp.com. Check out our Facebook, Facebook page, um, which is facebook.com slash longfullboots. Uh, please like and subscribe uh, on the YouTube channel. Well, we've got Twitch as well. It's all longfullboots, basically. You stick longfullboots near to a URL, it will probably come up with us. Yeah. Um, until next time, though, bye! 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 bye. 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 bye.